Welcome to Satellite Office. She is a 2009 55 Symbol Classic. It is at night. Um, this is an unprofessional video, but it is for the purpose of going through the boat or any boat like you're gonna go through it yourself. So the aft deck, lots of space. It's a printed non-skid, um, sliding stainless doors, polished up stainless, is nicely polished. Uh, you have a swim platform. It's hard to see at night, so we won't spend too much time. You have a um, 110 outlet there and another 110 outlet over here on either side of the bench seating. Halogen lighting above. Salon, pretty awesome. Um, Teak and Holly, L-shaped settee, storage under, uh, nice storage. There's all the manuals are under there. The TV drops down into that cabinet. You'll notice as we go through the boat that um, everything's been removed. The boat is seriously for sale. Uh, these are the, the blinds that are just uh, manual. Have a looks like a solid service solid surface countertop. Two stools, bar stools. So as you go in the galley, it's just really clean. Not a lot of, not no clutter at all, but there's a lot of stuff here that you don't, you know, don't readily see. Uh, you have refrigerator, one drawer refrigerator, and another, and a freezer here. Over here, you have the other refrigerator forward, and then another freezer below. Then over here, you have dishwasher, storage. A three burner stove top. A um, it's a convection microwave, sharp carousel convection microwave. Then across you have another refrigerator drawer and another freezer drawer and a wine cooler and glass storage. <laughs> Tell me what's wrong with that. I'll wait. Um, looking aft. Grab bar above. Now just ship shape. And then up to the pilot house. There's a TV. I accidentally turned on. Um, the helm nicely updated uh, Garmin 5212s du dual Garmin 5212s uh, Icon VHF uh, Cummins monitors balance turn thruster uh, Westmar bow thruster control wiper control trim tabs rudder angle indicator spotlight and I don't know what these are. I'm going to find that out. The GMI 10s. And there's another monitor of some kind. I'm not sure what that is. Then you have the ship's monitor. I don't know how well you can see that. But uh, it, it has lights that light up when a bilge pump comes on. Just the safety monitor and, and the fuel gauges. Oops. I almost fell off of that. And then down below here you have the monitors for both of the engines, the generators, and the inverter monitor Let's see you can see the hours most likely on both generators these are beautiful pompanet high quality chairs with pedestals um, nice uh, settee back here with a fold drop leaf
and you have uh, access to the the decks protected by a Portuguese bridge nicely lighted these doors are high quality doors they, and they're they, they work very nicely that locks it then going forward down curve steps then into a foyer with a stack washer dryer an office area with movable lighting shoji screens uh, the guest head across uh, tuck my head tuck my toilets the growy faucets solid surface uh, beautiful shower nice size then forward the VIP it's on air condition control a flat screen TV Shoji screens as well. Auto light, cedar lined locker, hanging locker to port. And another one to starboard. Also auto light hanging uh, locker, cedar lined. So I've got some sheets. The dual entrance head. This was, of course, we saw it looking from the foyer. So this would be a day head as well. Then looking aft, master, full beam, center line, master, midship. Teak and Holly throughout. Then vanity area, solid surface, separate shower, and then over here, forward you have the toilet area with a automatic fan same thing in the shower and then forward you have another cedar lined hanging locker you know a real one a tall one worthy of a master more another locker over there lots of drawer storage television shoji screens and then just you know, as you would do if you're looking at a boat yourself, look inside the the storage areas or the, under the, the deck hatches. And on this boat, they're pretty much in order, buddy. They're clean, they're dry, they're not the corrosion. It's like somebody's been in here, they've done it. They're empty, <laughs> which is nice. And then uh, some more up here. Auto light. I mean, try to tell me what's wrong with that. I don't see it. And then this also access it from here. I, mean, I guess when you when you put the steps down, you lose the light. But that's uh, impressive. Very impressive. Then here's some more space uh, you've got uh, how you switch your power from the port shore to starboard shore to stern shore how you plug in where you plug in uh, you're also your inverter shut off just storage everywhere then uh, although it's dark we're gonna go up on top your access to the bridge is either from the pilot house or the aft deck. Nice little bar area up here. Got a grill, safety equipment, a melee electric grill, refrigerator,
That storage is locked. They don't want me in there. Two fixed bar stools. Oh, there's some lights that point aft. I ought to turn those on. A uh, life raft. Then you've got uh, some duplicate stuff on the helm. There's two more Garmin's duplicates of the lower helm. And then uh, we'll go to the engine room. Which kind of the best for last. First of all, you, you have a more of a lazarette. The water heater over here. Steering. And you have the emergency tiller, the Glendinning um, shore cord reel, cable master, uh, expansion tank for the water system, the water pump. You see that the, the lines are nicely labeled. 110 outlet. Nice to have. Actually, let me turn it off for some reason. I hit the button. But, you know, looking underneath things, it's neat. Clean. Then looking forward, you have the Xantrex 4000 watt inverter. Another 110 outlet. You have, we're probably being watched because we have cameras everywhere. And Battery charger, fire extinguisher, the muffler for the generators on each side, one on each side. Then looking forward, let's just kind of look at everything, if you don't mind, without, if I don't make you too dizzy and jerk you around too much um let's see on the they also have another panel for the generators down here this is the one that has 603 hours at least is what it's showing here and then we have two ac units one says master one says forward then we have a shelf with four agm batteries installed October of 2019. Then uh, we have yeah, the, the big generator over here to the starboard side and it's 1500 and change hours. It's got its own a, a second panel down here. It's well lit. Both of them northern lights. Back of the engine. I mean, there, there's not a lot of patina anywhere. There's not a, not a corrosion. There's saddle tanks. Both are 350 U.S. gallons. Um, not sure if, where the other ones are. They've got the Algae X system on there, as you can see. There's a generators or dual ray cores with vacuum gauges. Uh, you also see the sight glass for the port tank it's got a little under 200 gallons i don't know if you can see that or not but it's easy to see if you're not you're not on a camera um you know the stainless is polished up down here i like it then we got uh dripless shaft logs with a um you see the the bonding system brush there and then you've got I see power takeoff on the starboard engine. I see one on the port too. So no, wait a minute. Um, don't let me don't let me say that something's not right. I see um, dual pumps for the AC. So it looks like you can shut one off 
and shut the other and turn the other one on. If you, one goes down, all you do is open the seacock and turn it on, shut the other one off. Again, another set of ray cores with vacuum gauges, LGX system on that, blowers, let you get a good look at the engines. Underneath the engines. As we would all do when looking at a boat. At least I shouldn't say all. Some people wouldn't. But I would. Got a, a workbench stainless with a vise. Builds pump. Looks like a sump. Uh, main engine strainers. Looks like they've got a uh, water flow monitor that if something were to happen, it should warn you. Uh, controls for the engines. Two mo uh, one more air conditioned there. Uh, here's your all four ray cores for the engines, all, both duals for each engine, and then both have vacuum gauges. Uh, the Westmar stabilizers. Um, that's the hydraulic fluid tank. Halon system. You see the Stabilizers over there, another air condition there. I see four in here total. I don't know, there may, there may be others. I also see LGX system for the engines as well. Well lit. All right, we'll shut her down here in the engine room. I think I'll stay down here a while, just Look around.